Welcome back. We are here looking at uh, indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, April 20th, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see your news videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the S&P 500. And as you can see, we have broken down a little bit of the day. We are basically down 0.35% at this current stage. And it was fairly expected for this market to pull back at least towards the middle of the bullish band towards 4,050. And, as you can, and the reason for that is because we were fairly overstretched. We are still uh, overbought at this current stage. And the technical indicators, even though they are in bullish territory, they are slowly turning around. So we could see this drop towards the middle of the bullish band, something similar to this in the next few trading days uh, before heading back towards 4,250, um, give or take, or 4,500 will well, probably be the next target. If we break below the middle of the bullish band, we can drop all the way down to the 50 moving average down here at 3,959. So let's look at the Dow Jones. So the Dow Jones, very similar. We did fall a little bit and then pull back. So this probably will continue as uh, we are fairly overbought and also overstretched here. So we could see a pullback towards the middle of the bullish band that is 33,400, give or take. If that breaks, which uh, is not expected at this current stage, but if that breaks, we can head towards the 50 moving average down here at 32,500 or, or or give or take. So technical indicators are still in very in bullish territory. So MACD is still above the signal line in bullish territory. Stochastic is basically flat and the CCI is still in bullish territory. So it doesn't look like this is going to completely fall apart um, at this current stage. We have seen additional pullbacks and then rally, pullbacks and rally. Uh, but we are getting fairly overstretched and um, we could see something similar to this. And that is not uncommon uh, for these indices that when they get outside of the bullish band or even close to it, that they break down towards the middle or the very bottom. So let's look at the NASDAQ. So the NASDAQ is, uh, was down, give or take, 1.2% you know, and has pulled back. A little bit we are basically testing the previous lows here we were down give or take it to 13,800 uh, if this breaks then we could head towards the 20 exponential down here at 13 uh, 50 uh, 13,584 and break below that we have the middle of the bullish band which is 13,461 you can see the technical indicators are turning around. The CCI is becoming bearish, the stochastic is flat, and the MACD is basically rounding off here, also becoming bearish. So we're still in the uptrend, but we have been rallying since all the way down here at 12,629, and we haven't basically seen a major pullback since then. So we could see a pullback towards the middle of the bullish band, and that is probably as far as this will go at this current stage or towards the 50 moving average, which also would make sense because that is also the previous highs over here, and that should be enormous support down at 13,300. 13, so let's look at the German DAX. So finally, we have a little bit of a pullback here in the German DAX, and um, that wasn't surprising either. We had a major run on um, Thursday and also on Friday and today we are basically breaking down so we could see this breakdown towards the middle of the bullish band which is around 15,000 15,000 breaks then we'll head towards the bottom here at 14,500 or give or take technical indicators are still in uh, bullish territory but they are turning around we're still also overbought, overbought even though we had this pullback today so let's look at the UK 100 and as you can see also here this was also fairly expected after this major rally last week we are seeing a pullback and we have this inverted hammer here which usually is a very uh, bearish shine so we could see this pullback towards the middle of the bullish band or 20 exponential that's around uh, 6861 so yes we are in a bullish uptrend and that is the same thing for all of these indices that 
they are getting fairly well stretched and are and therefore it is expected for them to basically fall back towards support before going higher so there's no um, there's no sign that there, there's going to be a trend change of any sort there it's just made minor pullbacks before going higher technical indicators for the uk 100 is are still in bullish territory but they are turning around so we could see this drop towards the middle give or take 6840 before going higher above 7000 so let's look at a china 50. And as you can see, we have basically been all over the place. We broke below the 200 moving average, rallied up towards the 20, and now we're basically settling in between the 200 and the 20 exponential moving average. So technical indicators are kind of favoring the upside. So, so we can see the CCI is heading in towards uh, bullish territory. The sarcastic is bullish and the MACD is basically flat at this point. And also the RSI is bullish. So break above the 20 exponential that could open the door to the top of the bullish band. And that is at 17,736. And just above there, we have the 50 moving average. That would give or take 18,000. Break above that. Well, that could uh, mean that we'll go back to the all-time highs here at 20,588. Break below the 200 moving average opens the door to 16,000 and then also 15,000. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.